Welcome back. So people have been watching my composting videos and saying, oh man, you're working too hard. Hey, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Oh, you didn't get this right. Oh, you didn't get that right. All right, no, I understand. There's a bazillion ways to compost. And the compost videos I've done recently have not been, for the most part, my normal composting methods. It's been me experimenting with different composting methods. Since I started writing gardening articles some time ago and then went on to writing gardening books, We're in the money. it's become more important that I test and experiment with what people are talking to me about. So if somebody says, hey, have you heard of Jadam anaerobic compost tea? I was like, okay, well, I've got to try that. And somebody says, oh, have you tried the Berkeley method yet? No, I haven't tried the Berkeley method yet. I'd better try that. This is not necessarily me showing you how you should be composting. But one question that has come up is, what is the easiest way to compost? And when I wrote the book, Compost Everything, The Good Guide to Extreme Composting, that was one of the questions I considered. And the answer is to compost like nature composts. The absolute easiest way to compost is to throw out the rule book and throw things on the ground. Nature is a compost factory. See all this material down here? All of this greenery and everything, it's growing and dying and coming back year after year. Let's take a look. Look at this. Right here, we have material breaking down, becoming forest floor. There's a millipede here, which is a composter. And you can see Look at that. You see the little strands of uh, fungal mycelium. They are breaking down the lignans in the wood. Look at This is all becoming compost. You see? And it smells earthy. It has this wonderful mushroom-like aroma to it. Look at the bottom of this wood. That is all fungal growth there. There's the dry top of it, here's the bottom. All being broken down. Nature makes compost out of whatever falls on the ground. And it all gets built up into forest. So all you have to do is mimic nature and drop things on the ground. If I went through here with a scythe, chopped a lot of this material down, piled it up in one corner, it would all grow back again but wherever I piled it up would become a fantastic mess of compost. Carbon nitrogen ratios are not important. The heat in the pile is not important. It's not important if it heats up or not. Uh, trying to get it in 30 days, it's not important. You don't have to do all of those things to make compost. Nature makes compost all the time. Dog droppings fall on the ground and they turn into compost. You don't freak out about that sort of thing. Um, an animal dies in the wood, it becomes compost. It all breaks down. Nature is a fantastic recycler. So in its very basic essence, you can make a pile of just about anything organic, easy to break down, you know, um, everything from shredded paper scraps to kitchen scraps to, I mean, you could throw bones in there. It really doesn't matter. It'll all break down eventually. Bones take a long time, but they're good for the garden. So just send them on through. Doesn't matter that much. You could put seaweed, eggshells, whatever. You know, pile up all your yard waste in one corner of the yard. Pile up logs in one corner of the yard. Eventually it breaks down into some rich, beautiful humus. You don't have to worry about it that much. Nature has ways of breaking things down. There are termites to chew up wood and there are worms and wood borers and there are fungi that break down the lignans in wood. There are bacteria that break down the sloppy stuff. There are so many little composters that will break down whatever you happen to pile up, you don't have to worry that much about it. Now, if you wanna get a whole bunch of compost for your garden, well then you have to start looking perhaps at doing bins and piles that you manage and try to get those carbon nitrogen ratios, etc., successful. But if you've been not composting because you think you need a tumbler or you think you need a special bin or anything like that, stop worrying about it. Pick some spot that's just a little bit out of the way in the back of your yard and just start throwing your kitchen scraps there, start throwing the leaves that you rake up there, grass clippings, 
Um, just start dumping stuff in there and letting it rot and it's gonna rot down and it will become compost. It happens over time. Just go into the woods and look around and see that there's compost everywhere. That is the absolute simplest way to compost. Get some compostable materials, just about anything, and throw it on the ground and wait. You don't have to turn it, you don't have to measure ratios, you don't have to stick a thermometer in it, you just do it. And you don't have to buy some fancy schmancy little turny bin thing, you know, forget it. It'll take care of itself. Nature is a fantastic composter. And if you do what she does, you'll have the easiest compost possible. Check out my book, Compost Everything, The Good Guide to Extreme Composting, on Amazon. And you'll find me on the web at thesurvivalgardener.com where I've written a lot on composting. There's a ton of articles there, over 1,300 now. And until next time, may your thumbs always be green. I went to see David, David the Good. We listened to Portis Head. And drink spiced rum. You can check out my book on Amazon, Compost Everything. I'm gonna compost that cow. Dot com, where I've. That cow, man, alive. And you can check me out on the web at thesurvivalgardener.com.